per number of the patients who have had previous operation done elsewhere, who come to me with complications, they are often related to the pull-through operation where the view of the intestine hasn't been very good and the joint at the bottom end hasn't been to the right part of the intestine. So with the keyhole method, we can avoid all these complications that happens and we can do the operation as a single operation that lasts the lifetime of this child. Hirschman's disease is a condition where there is abnormality of the lower end of the intestine, the colon. Most of the kids with Hirschman's disease have condition of the lower end, maybe 10 centimeters of the colon, which is abnormal. And this is because there isn't the nerve cells within this part of the intestine. And what happens is that it remains in a collapsed manner. When there's collapsed bottom part of the large intestine, the upstream intestine cannot push the feces down and expel the feces out. And what happens then is that the abdomen gets distended and the child can go on to have signs and symptoms of obstruction. The initial treatment for Hirschman's disease is to introduce something called a washout, where you introduce a small tube into the lower part through the anus and wash the feces out of the child. Until which time where we are ready to do the operation, what we call a pull-through operation, where the normal part of the intestine is pulled down to join the lower part and the abnormal part is taken out. So with regards to the traditional method of surgery, there's often a cut in the abdomen or if they do operation only at the anal level to do the pull through, we don't have access to all of the intestine or view of all of the intestine. And when you do the pull through, you may not know the alignment of the intestine or you may not have idea of where the intestine is normal and abnormal or one which is dilated or not so dilated. So with laparoscopic surgery, which is the better method, more advanced method, which is used by most advanced centers in the world, we are able to introduce small incisions in the abdomen to view all of the intestine and take biopsies and identify the correct position of where we want to do the pull through. And when we do the pull through, we can see the alignment of the intestine, which is not twisted or kinked, or even pull other parts of intestine down to the lower part where we do the joint. So we have a good view of the intestine when we do the pull through. Quite a number of the patients who have had previous operation done elsewhere, who come to me with complications, they are often related to the pull-through operation where the view of the intestine hasn't been very good and the joint at the bottom end hasn't been to the right part of the intestine. So with the keyhole method, we can avoid all these complications that happens and we can do the operation as a single operation that lasts the lifetime of this child. So for parents who know that their child has got Hirschsprung's disease, is best to identify centers where they offer pediatric laparoscopic surgery specifically for Hirschsprung's disease so that we avoid any of these complications and their child will have a smooth surgical journey and the outcome is good for the lifetime of this child.